Hello everyone. Today I am going to make another profession t-shirt design. Like in this design I am going to use a make a carpenter design but you can make any profession you want. Like this part of the text will be same for every profession like this one this can be like a mechanic a doctor engineer anything you want but this kind of design looks good for like this kind of professions carpenter firefighter like some badass professions so this part will be can be same for every profession then you can change the profession here and easily you will get some really good designs so for this design i was planning to make it a little, make it little badass kind of design so i am going to use this vectors in my design and as this is a carpenter design we should use some relevant elements like this so for this vectors i am using this vector bundle from freepik but as you can see these are the main focus point of this bundle so we should not use any of these graphics because this is easily recognizable and then you will get some copyright problems or maybe someone else is also using this one and if two people are using this same graphic then it is easily like remarkable the where they are getting the graphics but when we are using some parts like this and using in a different way then it can be a, like different designs so there will be no copyright for them if we just modify them well enough so I'm going to use these wings from the second amendment design. I gave you this bundle and this ribbon bundle also I gave you. So and this is skull. I'm going to use this skull from the design. This is also a free vector bundle from Freepik. So you can download them all from Freepik or I will give you this bundle for practice today. So before making the design, the plan, we need to like make an idea in our mind that how we want to present our design so first of all we need to focus on this carpenter text this is the main like this is the target audience for us so we will make this one eye catching and the focus point of our text then we are going to make a center graphics for our text like using these elements so that is the plan so first i will make the center graphics so i'm going to use this skull in my center position like this so that i can make it like i can represent it like a badass kind of design so that is the point then i'm going to use these two because these are the carpenter tools and i need to make them like same size long so i'm going to use my direct selection tool then if i select it like this i can easily use my down arrow key to bring that down like this and it will be longer in size so that's how i will be easily able to use them in a same style so for this one here this okay so this is a log vector a log of a tree i am going to make that one also the center point of my design this, then this wing so let's make this one first i am going to use it like this and then this one i am going to use it like this then I need to select these two and if I just align it center wise like this it will look like this but I need to make it manually maybe just like this so that it we can place our skull in the middle point so I am selecting these two like this then I am aligning them in the bottom line but I don't think this is not looking very good I, I think this is not looking very good so this will work for us and for the for the lower part area here we will use some other tricks to make it look good so as you can see this part is this point is good for me so let's group them like that then i'm going to place my skull right here so as you can see this part is like visible a lot but this part is not that much visible so we can fix that easily but let's first place our graphics okay so if i select my skull and the group like this then i can manually adjust the position where i want it to be just like this then it is a little bit like a short in this area so i'm selecting this area with my direct selection tool to make it longer in size just like this using my arrow key 
to fix the position of that once that is in a good position or maybe this is looking a bit lower so let's just use it as it is so that is good then we are going to use the same old technique like making offset path paste into transparency so let's cut that and select this group here open the transparency paste in front so this is now looking like that but we can fix it with merge and unite so this is the all same way i do in my every design because this this i really like this way of making designs it keeps everything editable and then i can make changes wherever i want so i'm going to ungroup these wings because i don't need them as they were so i'm going to use just one part here just like this in a just i want i don't want to want this lower area to be visible so i am placing it inside the skull area just like this and then i will make another copy here then reflect it with my reflect tool so i just need to place it like same size inside my skull so that is good then now select this two align them center wise that is good for me then make them a group now i am making my wings a group so as we make a offset path for our skull if we select this hammer and x group we can see that is inside the transparency so if we click here we will be able to copy that so let's copy that then click on this wings vector open the transparency paste in front it will make that one the same effect of that cutout effect so that is good now i need to place my axe and hammer on top of my wings so the same way i'm going to do it make a same size offset path cut it then select the wing inside the transparency paste in front control f so once that is in front we can merge and unite to make that visible on our wing so that is good for us and then we need to i have the plan to make this vector but i want this in this way maybe i don't know which way it will look good so this is a like a oval shape not a perfect circle so i'm going to use it just like this then i'm going to use it in this area maybe okay before using that i need to make them a group so that i don't lose their positions so then if i select my log here because i want to make this round shape on top of my skull not in every like in every place so just like this this will work for us then i'm going to select our this group wings and skull group opening the transparency again then cut select the log here open transparency paste in front control f then again merge unite to make it a complete black shape and as you can see this is how it is going to look like so this is the final graphics for my this design here i am selecting them all together and making a group so that it stays in a same size area so that is good for me now i need to use my text here so for this carpenter text we need to use some kind of bolder font so that we can so that it looks good and it pops out from the rest of the design so maybe yield slab this font is really good i like this font okay so you can find this font on the font.com or any website you want to you can search the by the name so let's let me show the font name yield slab this is the font name okay so i want to make it like this is the center point the focus point of my text so we'll work on that later so let's just like break our text the hardest part of my job i'm going to keep these three on top the carpenter the hardest part of my job and then i'm going to use these three in the bottom of my design so this is really important to place your designs guys so that is a good way to do that now i am going to draw ellipse here just like this so that it 
and in a stroke mode so pressing shift x for making that in a stroke so i need to select this ellipse and the group then align that center wise as you can see this is how it is looking now so that is good for me now i need to the hardest part of my job i am going to use maybe another font here that machine is a good font okay maybe just use this carpenter text in this just that machine machine and then this hardest part in gear slab so that is the easiest way to change my font so again this one in that same font because this kind of font i am using a capital font here like all caps here because i want to keep everything in a same size so that it fills the same area so let's use this one maybe let's keep that one like this let's put this one so cut it then use our type on path tool just like this click on this area then press ctrl v to paste it now as you can see that is actually that size is good for me because it is filling the area of my wings and the wood log we pasted there just like this then centerize it center align that then maybe a bit okay maybe a bit bigger in size just like this then we can reduce the base point like this if we reduce here it will reduce the base point base point of my text is starting so that is good we will make this one visible but later no problem so let's first use a ruler for our graphics here because we want to we want to keep everything inside a certain area so that is good now maybe i need to copy this one copy ctrl c ctrl f to paste in front make it a bit bigger then copy this text double click here paste it ctrl v then if i click here it will fill that area so i'm going to use it in kind of this way just like this i don't want to overlap it with my wings so that is good maybe i can make it a bit bigger like this so that it the inner area of my that that two text doesn't overlap each other maybe this one a bit like this okay that is good for me now i am going to use my this text here this carpenter text here let's make it bigger the hardest part of my job okay that is looking good for me now i need to use this three in this same font maybe this one size but when we are sampling a font like with eyedropper tool then if we applied any kind of effect like the reduce of the base point increasing of the inner area so that will be applied on this new text also so we need to fix that we need to make it zero so that it doesn't pick any any kind of that text effect so like this how to do my job i'm going to make it that font size so that is good for me now this is the this is going to be the final design for me here and then i can simply as you can see this is being a longer design so i don't want it to be a longer design so maybe just use my this one here then maybe use that same text here so let's type that in the hardest part of my job i'm going to make that a single line so that it looks good for me now maybe a bit smaller in size okay let's use that my job in a different line so that it will it will be readable or big enough to be readable just like this the hardest part of my job this is going to be our center position then if we bring that down little bit then you can see my our design is being like smaller in size 
not very much longer so that is good for me okay so be nice to people maybe overlap them with the x handle because we that is not very much necessary for us so that is good for us then we need to select everything like this then i can center align them to keep them all in a center position okay maybe i can make this one a bit smaller like this and then again i can use this one also a bit smaller just because we can use some more elements here maybe i start in this area of course aligning with my ruler in the area there that is good then i am going to break this font because okay let me show you if we are not breaking any font then the, there is some extra space maybe in the side maybe in the up or down that is cause some problem for aligning so that's why it's important to break a font you can see now it is selecting like the exact area of my font that is good now i am going to select this three then center align them again distribute the space that is good then we can if i'm making them a group here because they are totally in position or in the position where we want it so as this is a carpenter design this part is not very much visible right now so i'm going to select this one this that log here again just to make it like look like this because this is the important part here we are using a design our target audience is carpenters so we need to use as much element as possible to just like attract them for giving them a feel like this is their designs they should like why are this design they, it is really rela related to the, like related to their real life that is the point of this kind of designs now center align them again distribute the space to group it so that is good i am not i don't like actually using ribbons in my designs too much elements because that sometimes makes the design less readable so i am using a less elements but keeping my fonts bigger as big as possible because the main design area of a t-shirt is not very much bigger so it should be readable otherwise whoever is buying my design they are not going to come back to us to buy again okay so this area is not very much visible here so we need to do that i'm selecting this group opening the transparency then i'm going to draw a rectangle from this area just like this or maybe we can make it a bit upper upper like the, like that so that it looks clearly readable that is good then this part is done i am going to break these three fonts also because i don't need them i don't need them them to act like a font anymore that is good then of course align the text with the ruler here maybe a bit upward so that it doesn't overlap my designs okay that is being a bit maybe bring that one down then select my that is text and open the offset path 10 pixel is good cut select this group insert the transparency paste in front as you can see that is being visible now that is good for us then for this area okay maybe i can make this one a bit bigger so that it fills the lower area here then maybe this one in the same size just like this so once they are good i am going to reduce their size to adjust inside the ruler area so that is good okay so for this area as you can see this is looking like a straight line so let's use some effect there arc lower is really good option maybe just like this then as you can see that is we can make it a bit small bigger like this okay that is overlapping my text right now so let's make it a bit smaller 
just like this so as you can see this is looking not very bad so that is good let's break the effect that we applied then we can simply make this one a bit longer to cover these areas then maybe this one a bit longer to this one also I just want to make it a arc there so that it fills the area there is tons of different ways of making it a perfect arc here but I want to make it like this way because it will give here a stair kind of effect that is unique and that is good for us that is good okay I need to keep everything in the same line there just like this okay that is like covering enough for us that is good maybe a bit upward this text here then it is completely closing those area so that is good now I am going to fill these little areas with some more elements from this area because this is the tools of carpenter and we are going to use just only these tools these minor little things that will not cause us any trouble because we are not using them as the main part of our design and there is a lots of work we are doing here okay for this kind of designs i always i like to fix these areas so let's select them both together then press shift m for bringing on the shape builder then if i erase this part like this this small change makes it looks better you can see now it is clearly visible that one is on top of another so let's make it a group like this so maybe use this one in this area this area is a bigger like this is not very important to fix these areas or it is not a crime to leave them empty but it is really an opportunity to fill these areas with the relevant graphics because that is the point of attraction pupils are not going to be attracted by this scale wings kind of designs things they are going to be attracted by this kind of the axe and the hammer the I don't know what is what it calls so this kind of things is the is their professions their things they can relate to it in their real life so that is good okay for that area maybe we can use uh, this one from here so let's paste it but I want to make it like in a carboy so let's use our curvature tool like this okay maybe we can do it in another way so just I wanted to make a custom brush for that but I don't think that is really necessary we can do it like in this way also so let's group them like that then we can fill these areas easily by making a custom brush we can make it like carving that area but that is something I showed you many times in my different videos so let's not do that for this one okay guys so this is the final design for us now as you can see this is I don't know how it is looking but I think this is looking good because this is a real badass kind of design let's make everything in black color so that is good now if we want we can put some colors in the background like the way I showed in my the in my biker design how to take a rectangle in the background then use divide tool or minus like shape builder to erase a part from the design so I'm going to make it in that way guys so it will take some more time but I'm not going to record it as I have done a tons of videos in that style so i hope this one will give you guys some idea like as you can see i am using some carpenter tools to represent this as a carpenter design but i can simply take some other elements like if i am making a firefighter design then i can use this x here also a scale or a firefighter helmet anything that i want if i am making a mechanic design 
then this kind of hammer or a screwdriver whatever the tools of the mechanics we can use them in this way and then this scallion wings are to represent the badassness so we can keep them always and it will look good every time so thank you everyone this is that's all for today's video see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you